Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company Live. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in the area, it's on Carolina and Company Live. It's a Tuesday. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live. Hope you're having a great day. Pretty good day here so far. And guess what? What? We match. Long running joke. Okay, we match. We All match. Right. See, so right, we, we match. It we looks great. great. We got a great show lined up today, a lot of fun stuff. You got to learn a lot by watching this show every day. And I'm sure there's a lot of people watching today. I could tell on my computer people Can were sending you? me little notes. Yeah, absolutely. Telling me they were watching, and we appreciate you for doing that, too. We got a lot coming up, but first off. That's right. Let's check out our weather. All right, the good news is a lot of that rainfall is now gone. We're taking a live image here at our Adelaide camera, and you can see temperatures are beginning to warm up in the 60s and 70s. The ocean not as terrifying as it was this morning. It was a very stormy this morning. That ocean was not looking that pleasant. Now these temperatures expected to warm up even higher as we progress into the afternoon hours. 80 degrees in Florence and Marion as well as King Street. The low to mid 70s there along the Grand Strand mid to upper 70s to even near 80 degrees there along the border belt once the clouds finally scour out. Now here's the thing. We could also see a couple of isolated showers across the PD later on today. It all depends on a secondary area of moisture moving into the area, but if those showers develop, they will be very, very light. Nothing like we saw this morning. Again, it's hit or miss and many people won't see it. You notice that our radar showed basically all the rain gone. Take a look at some of these totals in Georgetown. 2.5 inches was a pretty big spot. 2.43 in North Myrtle Beach, almost three inches in Andrews, and we had a report of nearly four inches to the west of Longs. That is something that was estimated by radar, not necessarily ground truth but it continues to show you that we had substantial heavy rain totals. On top of the heavy rain we dealt with, we also dealt with some pretty gusty winds so far today. 41 miles per hour gust in Myrtle Beach earlier this morning, 29 in Conway. Currently, those winds have calmed down. And the good news is those winds will stay calm for the rest of the day around 5 to 10 miles per hour as we round out our Tuesday. Here's a look at that Grand Strand forecast. Now partly cloudy skies for your Tuesday, mostly sunny on your Wednesday. Temperatures much more seasonable along the Grand Strand. A 20 to 30 percent chance of showers Thursday, Friday and Saturday, both inland and along area beaches. As a new storm system approaches, we will continue to hone in on that forecast for you as we get a little closer to your weekend. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. The Grand Strand Humane Society is here with their pet of the week. And guess what this one's name is? Anybody know my favorite food? Cecil? <laughs> favorite food? Anybody? Pizza. Pizza. No, sushi. <laughs> this is sushi. Oh. Kathy, tell us a little bit about sushi. She's a sweet girl. She is. This is sushi. She's about a year and a half old. She was a stray, like most of our other. I know. She's, so she's going to fall asleep. I know. She's <laughs> She fell asleep in the car. I love um, it. She's about a year and a half. She's um, ready for adoption. She's already spayed. Um, she's a great dog. She's great in the car. She seems to like her And dog. she's not camera shy and her, either. Her tongue is sticking out and her eyes are closing. And I'm tired. Tired, yeah. You just want to go to Forever Home. That's right. Anything going on at Grand Strand Humane Society? Um, well, we've, we're, we're supporting the air show this coming uh, weekend. Yeah. The uh, the uh, weekend, the Myrtle Beach air show this coming weekend. Um, we won't have any pets there, but we will be getting some support there from the from the staff, and providing Fantastic. volunteers, and so. We're, and we're also uh, the following weekend we've got the Diva 5K Great. race coming up. That's we have right. a lot of volunteers. We need volunteers for everything, and you okay. don't necessarily have to be a trained volunteer. Just anybody who feels like helping us out would be welcome. All right, so volunteers is what they need, and if you want to adopt Sushi, she's fantastic. Absolutely wonderful. Visit the Grand Strand Humane Society over there on Mr. Joe White Avenue, and we'll be right back. 
You know, being on Carolina and Company live is probably the best job I've ever had. I come to work every day and it doesn't even feel like work. And working with Cecil is definitely a highlight. You know, he's a crazy guy. He says all kinds of crazy things, but he can get away with it after being in the business for 45 years and he can teach me so much. Every day I come in, I can learn from his stories and work towards my future in TV. We have a great time together and how you see us on TV, that's how we are off set as well. We truly enjoy working together and what we do. And we thank you for joining us. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. A few things to talk about before we get the show started for today. All right, so the Georgetown Sher uh, County Sheriff's Office is inviting members of the public to Ani's Country Kitchen. If you've not been there, fantastic food. It's um, going to be for a free cup of coffee and an opportunity to ask questions to discuss community issues and get to know the officers on Thursday morning. This is going to be April 26th coming up. This Thursday between 8 and 10 a.m., Coffee with a Cop provides time for law enforcement officers and community members to have a relaxed one-on-one -on -one uh, conversations and, you know, get to know each other, but That's also right. talk about a lot of things That's happening. That's a good thing, doing. All right, let's talk a little bit about surf water promotions. This is where we get all of our swag from. I call it promotional items. Of course, you've got hats, T-shirts, you've got, uh, let's see, you got anything in the world you're looking for, coffee cups, you can wrap your car. They'll do all that. 10,000 T-shirts, 20,000, no problem. Yeah, I'm they sure they won't say no to that, no, for sure. No, sir. you got sunglasses, hat, anything you're looking for to put your logo on it, you can get it done right And if you there. want to revamp your logo, you can sit down with their graphic team, and they will definitely help you do that as well. Check them out. They're right over there off Homestone Road in Surfside. That's right. Let's find out a little bit about today. Today is Tuesday, April 24th, and this is Pig in a Blanket Day. I, I like, like Pig in a Blanket. I, me too. That's I what I was going to say. It's also <laughs> Be Kind to Animals Week, and that should actually be every week. So That's right. There we go. 1934, let's look at birthday. Shirley MacLaine, she's 84 years old, an Academy Award winner for Terms of Endowment. I know a lot of you have seen that one. Also an Emmy winner for Gypsy in My Soul. All right, 1942, Barbara Streisand, 76 years old. She sold 245 million records and won 10 Grammys. Academy Award for Funny Girl, and she was awarded Best Actress. And I love her song, People. Great song. Right. All right, 1982, Kelly Clarkson. She's 36 years old, pop singer, American Idol winner, and a uh, song, A Moment Like This, was Song of the Year in 2002. That's right, the first American Idol. All right, today in history, go for it. You want to do it? Yeah, do it. I'll do it. Uh, 1974, yeah, David Bowie released <laughs> Diamond Dogs. Uh, all right, and 2000, ABC TV aired the TV movie The Three Stooges. I love The Three Stooges. I know. <laughs> we got two of them here. The other one's in the back. Yeah, so. I know it. All right, let's find out a little. <laughs> let's find out a little bit about uh, the Know It All department, where we learn something every day. You know that. Yep. In every country, they have a national sport. You know, everybody yeah, loves like okay. football, baseball, or whatever. Sure. Well, listen to this. In Turkey, the national sport is oil wrestling. Oil. Yeah. Wrestling. Pouring oil on you and you wrestle. Good. <laughs> Just thought I'd pass it That's on. That's good. Okay. That's in Turkey, the national sport, oil wrestling. Oil wrestling. That's it from the Know-It-All <laughs> department. That was a good that throw. That was a good throw. You, can I you like hear the train? One. Can you guys hear the train? train is coming through right They're now on through. the outside. That's right. We're going to take a break. We'll be right back. And welcome back. All right, we're getting ready to the Carolina Master Corral. They're having their 
let's see, their last concert of the season. That's right. And Tim's here with us to talk about it. It's coming up April 28th. April 28th and 29th. Tim, tell us a little bit about um, the last, last performance of the season. You know, what is this going to be? Is it a big finale? It's a big finale. Okay. It, it features uh, the brass and percussion sections from the Long Bay Symphony. Yeah. Oh. And we've programmed uh, some um, sacred music, music from church that uh, people will recognize. Also, um, some new music that people won't know, but uh, we've got a fantastic new piece written by a New York composer named Robert Cohen. Uh, it's on stories from the book of Genesis, and they're told sort of in the first person. It's a, a really clever and uh, fascinating wow. um, piece of music. It, it's written for um, extremely virtuosic uh, instrumentalists. We have fantastic players, and uh, that people will get to come and hear something they know. Our, our, our program is called How Great Thou Art. We have a fantastic arrangement of How Great Thou Art for that whole ensemble, and then and then some new things too. So. And there's a lot wow. of people in there. There's a lot. Yeah, I mean, we, that, yeah, that we have a big picture. Well, we have 65 right now in our choir. We, we go as high as 80 um, during the year, and uh, we're the we're the best chorus in South Carolina. That's right, <laughs> absolutely. You, you do do a fantastic fantastic job. I've seen you, uh, you perform Amanda. before. Now, um, so this is the last one of the season. When do you guys pick back up? And if somebody wants to become part of the crowd, what do they sure, need to we, do? Sure, we take auditions all year long. Whenever somebody's interested, we'd like them to come uh, talk to us and get to know about. We'd like to get to know them and have them get to know about the choir. Uh, we start back up in late August, and our first concerts are in September and October. We have a concert okay. with the symphony, third week of September. They can call our office. You can call the office for tickets also, and our phone number over there is 843-444-5774. Uh, right, right there, Carolina out. Master Corral, yeah, that's right, dot com. Can, yeah, you can go right to our now. website also. These two concerts, they're going to be at uh, two different places, sure, Saturday on, and on Sunday. On Saturday right? night at 7 p.m., we're at uh, First United Methodist Church in Conway. That's Fifth Avenue, just right off of Main Street. Yeah. And then our home uh, base is Sunday afternoon, 4 o'clock, Trinity Church in Myrtle Beach. That's 30th Avenue North and Kings Highway. And what time is that Beach. again? That's at 4 p.m. 4 p.m. Mm -hmm. okay. Everybody's invited. Yeah, there are tickets available for both concerts. And do you, would they need to get the tickets ahead of time? You it's think it's going to probably get sell them in out? Advance, especially Sunday afternoon, more likely to sell out. Yeah, mm -hmm. absolutely. Yeah. And if not, they might be available at the door, but don't yeah. count on yeah, it. All right. Tell so me, thank you. All right, big one's coming up April 28th, 29th. Uh, Saturday's concerts in Conway and Sunday's in Myrtle Beach. That's right. right. Thanks, Thanks so for being with us. Thank Appreciate you, it. Congrats on a great season. More Thanks. coming up. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Talking about the first international drive road race. It's a 5K and a 10K. First time they are doing this event. And, you know, there's always something new coming out of Black Dog Running or in Myrtle Beach. That's it. I'm talking about this one's coming up Sunday, April 29th. Got Don and John with us. And Don, you go talk a little bit with us first about the race itself. This is the first time y'all have done this. It's the first time, and it's on the new road out there at International Drive. So we have a 5K, a 10K, and we also are having a mile race as well. So any we runners, walkers, volunteers, everybody's invited to come out and have fun. So if they want to find out more about it, they can go to the website. Yes, you can check. We got a, yeah, he had yeah, Black, Black Dog. It, yeah. yeah, it'll be up in a minute. BlackDogRunning.com. Um, but now the funds from this, they go towards something different. John, Don, yes. you want to talk about that? Yes, so this event was sponsored by Horry County Wellness Committee, and it's a committee that um, is from Horry County government, and it's uh, to promote health and wellness inside of our government for our employees. And um, so the funds go back into that to help fund this event. Um, we allow our employees to run this event for free in order oh. to, um, to promote wellness and healthy lifestyles. That's good. Do you run? I do. You do? Okay. Yeah, I'll, I won't be there. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> they have a mile a race. I can't we, we might be able to win that one. A mile race? A two-legged mile race. How about that? Do, Me and you. Could do that. You never know. Oh, you run all the time. I, I mean, you work out all the time on this. I do. He does, too. All right. Y'all both, they both do. do. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. Yeah. I mean, how long, how long have you been doing that? Running or? Yeah, running. Oh, about 10 years. 10 years. Yes, sir. Fantastic. Now, who can out, come out for this and how do you register? Well, you can, they can go to blackdogrunning.com and, yeah. and the registration link is there. Um, anyone can come and, you know, as I said, 5K, 10K, we have a mile, so all ages are invited. Um, and we also need volunteers, so if you just want to come, if you want to come and help out, we can find something for all the volunteers So to if do. they just come out at 8 a.m. Sunday morning, they'll be able to participate? Well, they can. Get them in? They need to contact me first so that I can, so, yeah. Get them right eight, eight's, eight's when the race starts. We'll eight. need people there before. Yeah, so. if you're, you're a late person, you need to get there yeah. at 7 o'clock. <laughs> Yes, to register. Right. Thank you. Right. Thanks for being with us. Okay. All right, go check it out. Do a little running, right? I'm we'll be right way. back. <laughs>and welcome back to carolina company live All right now the third annual cops on top fundraiser uh this is also south carolina state transportation police highway patrol florence county sheriff's office everybody's gonna be raising money for the special olympics they sure are we've got them here with us right now tell us a little bit about the event when's it coming up and what do people need to do well it's coming up this thursday and friday okay. at the chick-fil-a on south urban street right in front of the big walmart we're going to be there Thursday from 10 to 6 in Florence. I'm sorry, in Florence. In Florence. And we're going to be there from 10 to 6 on Thursday, and we'll be there from 8 to 6 on uh, Friday. All right. We'll be up there. I'll be on top of the building and trying to collect donations. Last year, we collected about $15,000. Wow. wow. So <laughs> rain, snow, sleet, or whatever, y'all going to be there, James, right? No matter what, we'll be out there. Y'all going to be out Friday. there doing it. Okay. Fantastic. Look at now, that. You were on top of the chick. Somebody was up on top of the actual building. That's me on top of the building. That's fantastic. <laughs> yeah. All right. And you guys have t-shirts. Ooh. 
Yeah, cool. we'll show them the t-shirt there in a minute. But look at that, I love these pictures because these kids, they really get into it and they can make their parents give money too. They can oh, make yeah, their absolutely. Money. Yeah. Oh. yeah, you talk to the kids and they will, they will give money. Show, so, the, show the t-shirt. Yeah, let's show the t-shirt and then this is a cool t-shirt. Yeah, I like that. Here we go. That's the official Torch Run shirt, but we're going to be doing a $20 donation, get you a t-shirt and a coupon for a Chick-fil-A sandwich. All oh, right. well, that's great. All right, and on the back of it, you, of course, you got all, oh, your, yep. all your, your sponsors, sponsors and everything on, on the there. back of it for 2018. So this is going to be a big event. There's a lot of, you know, law enforcement people love raising money for things like this. I mean, mm -hmm. these guys, they get involved in this. Yeah, why Chuck? Special Olympics? Uh, well, Special Olympics right here is stays right in South Carolina, and it supports our athletics, athletes in South Carolina so they can go into the national games and also the games right here in South Carolina. So we... Uh, we love doing it. Uh, we have a good time doing it. We have some of the athletes there, and let me tell you, they'll take your heart once you get out there. They've, they're lovely. Yeah. They sure will. They 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 will. So awesome. you have some athletes from where? Like we'll have athletes from the local area. Matter of fact, I think we'll have a couple that just went to the Winter Games, the International Winter Games. It should be there. That's oh. awesome. So that'd be great. All right, so, so everybody just needs to come out, um, mm -hmm. make Rain a donation. Money. You get yeah, you get a T-shirt, you get a Chick Fil A sandwich. Mm -hmm. So why not come support a really great event? That's yeah, right. I mean, what it's time? a big deal. You got to do it. Starting? 10 to 6 on Thursday and from 8 to 6 on Friday. All right. All day long. Y'all be eating a lot of Chick-fil-A. Hey, oh, yeah. And let me tell you, <laughs> that place is busy, so y'all should bring in it's a lot busy. of money. And don't forget, $20 donation, you get a T-shirt, too. Fantastic. That yeah. looks like my size, huh? No, that's not. Chuck, <laughs> James, thank y'all for coming, Thanks buddy. for being really with us. Thank coming you. Coming up, Relay for Life. We're talking about it next. Welcome back to Carolina and Company Live. Talking about Relay for Life happening all over the area. Right now we're going to talk about the Grand Strand Relay for Life. It's going to be happening at Market Commons. That's right. Coming up Saturday, May 5th. Right, Troy? Yes. All right. Let's talk about it. It's right around the corner. They're all rolling together right now for me, <laughs> as you they understand. Are. But, uh, <laughs> but, yeah, we'll be at Grand Park from 11 a.m. to 11 p.m. on Saturday, May 5th. And uh, key things to remember, at 6 o'clock we'll do the survivor and caregiver recognition. Mm. And then somewhere between 8.30, 9.30, we'll have the luminary service to remember those we've lost and honor those who are fighting the disease. Now, people watching Market Commons located in Myrtle Beach, you know, for those people that's watching us did not know. Mm -hmm. Now, you've been busy. Y'all have turned a bunch of them in the last two, three weeks. Well, we've, we did coastals, and uh, this 
Thursday or Friday and Saturday are Andrews and Conway. So we still have those to come up. Uh, we just finished the baseball game Sunday at Coastal. Which How did that go? Coach Gilmore came out and challenged and gave $2,500 from him and his wife, and we raised over 2000 out of the stands. Man. He does a good wow. job. He yeah. Coach he's, Gilly, yeah, he's, he's a great good. guy. He so, really is a great guy. So uh, we got that, and so we're kind of wrapping up Coastal. They'll probably end up at $112,000. Oh, um, and then wow. we'll have Andrews at the high school, Andrews Relay for Life, this Friday from 6 to midnight. Saturday morning, I'll be in the Riverfront Park for Conway from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m., and then we'll roll into the next week and finish up with Grand Park for the Grand Strand Relay. All right, when you get these relays, do you sleep in the car? To catch <laughs> well, that's what I was going to say. Gotta, you got to take a nap somewhere. <laughs> well, I, I'm actually, I'm actually going to be staying at the Cypress Inn on uh, Friday night. Oh, okay. Because I can just roll right roll out of out bed and go. and go right to the park. <laughs> that you know? that's sounds a good like part. a plan. But the biggest thing is just to come out. It doesn't mean yeah. you have to come for the whole time. Sure, come for an sure. hour. Come for the services, the different things. Donate a luminary bag. Remember somebody you lost. $10 donation. See what they're having at the tents. They're going to have food. Cecil will come for food. Yes, and, uh, I'll come for food. Guess yeah. who else will come yeah, for exactly. food? Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Uh, you know, some are going to have barbecue. Some's going to have uh, bog. You know, there'll be baked goods. There'll be uh, some great raffle items. Well, Chances to win. I mean, there's all kinds of gift cards, gift baskets, just to make a donation. Uh, and just come out. We'll have entertainment at all of them wow. and just a great way that always yeah. you guys always bring the community together wherever you go exactly and this so is just can, another great way to do that so we can end this disease that's right. right grand Absolutely. strand relay for life tell them where saturday may 5th in grand park at market common from 11 a.m to 11 p.m in all right Beach. be there thank you buddy we thank appreciate you. it thanks a lot Hi. all right we'll be right back It's funny, it's crazy, and you never know what Cecil or Amanda are going to say or do. Hollywood! <laughs> it's Carolina and Company live weekdays on ABC 15, a fun show that makes you laugh and makes you feel good about where you live. If you just moved to the area, Carolina and Company Live is the show you need to watch. You'll find out about everything going on along the Grand Strand, PD, and Border Belt. Check it out weekdays at noon on WPDE ABC 15. And welcome back, everybody. Had a great time today. I learned a lot. Relay right. for life, a lot of them going on in the area. Please go out, make a donation because, uh, you know, the research goes to try to stop cancer one day. One day. That's right. Real. Yeah, absolutely. And lots of really great fundraisers happening right now in the area. Head out to Florence over there at the Chick-fil-A on Irby mm -hmm. Street. Going to be raising a lot of money for Special yep. Olympics. Just a lot of, lot of cool stuff A lot happening. of good stuff. And tomorrow. That's right. We're going up to, uh, let's car. see, where's that place? Warburg, mm, North that's Carolina. Right. We go up there every Wednesday and we bring you a lot of cool stuff. There'll be a lot of great stuff online to, that we'll be doing tomorrow. All you got to do is tune in and watch us. We'll that's have a right. good time. We're headed on the road. Hope you guys have a wonderful afternoon. Enjoy the sunshine for the afternoon. We'll see you later. Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE, ABC 15, WWMB, CW 21, or its employees.
Carolina and Company Live is sponsored by the businesses, organizations, and groups featured in this program. The views and opinions expressed do not necessarily reflect that of WPDE ABC 15, WWMB CW 21, or its employees. You're watching Carolina and Company on the road with the Laurenburg Chamber of Commerce. Your source for fun, entertainment, and events right here in Scotland County. With your host, Cecil Chandler and Amanda Sellers. If it's happening in Scotland County, it's on right here. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Carolina and Company Live right here out at Camp Monroe today. You know what, Cecil? We're going to go to camp for a little while. How about that? I've been thinking about it. All right. Did you bring, did you bring a tent? I brought a tent. All right. We're going to go right. camping and learn a lot, a lot more about everything that's happening right up in this area. Stay with us. We'll be back.